Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Zoom 5.0 is available. You must upgrade by May 30th, and if you don't, you won't better have any Zoom meetings. I'm going to put a link to this Zoom website that I'm on right now. Uh, it discusses this. I'm going to talk about one of the cool features that is in Zoom 5.0, how you can report a user, and I'll show you all the different options for reporting the user. This is somebody that's misbehaving, possibly doing something inappropriate in your Zoom meetings. So here is the link to the page. I'm not going to sit here and read through all this. Um, but today's the 29th of May. You've got till tomorrow to do this. If you're a Zoom user, you can come to this download page. I'll just show you an easier way to do it, to be honest with you. If you're a Zoom administrator, you come over here. Some of the enhancements is report a user. That's what I'm going to show you right now. So first of all, let me show you how I would upgrade or how I did upgrade already because it's already out. So I have the Zoom client pulled up. I'm going to sign in. Up in the top right corner should be your profile picture possibly. You click there one time, it tells you what kind of account you have. But if you look down below, it says check for updates. If you don't have Zoom 5.0, you'll click on check for updates. Even if you do, you can click it. So this is the most current version as of May 29th, 2020. If you want to see all the release notes, you can click here. I'm not going to do that. Click close. So that's one of the easiest ways just to update uh, your Zoom account for a user. Here's one of the new features. I'm going to start a new meeting. Um, I don't need to start my video because I'm recording. Cannot start video. I knew that. Not a problem. So I am in this meeting. Right now it's only me. I've already covered this in another video about this security feature, security icon, being in the meeting controls. If you notice under uh, Allow Participants 2, there's only four items listed. Three are checked because no one has joined this meeting yet. So I'm going to join this meeting as a user. So let's say this is somebody that either got the link um, and joins my meeting or I told them the information. Meeting info, password is going to be required. There it is on my screen. I would give them that information somehow. So I'm coming in as Mary Davis. This is my example. Mary Davis should hit the waiting room. Perfect, which is good. That is a great security feature. I've done a video on the waiting room. I've also done a video on how to customize the waiting room. I'm going to let Mary Davis in here. Let's say somehow Mary Davis gets into the meeting and is misbehaving. Hello, hello. There you go. Now when I go to security, not only do I have remove participant, which is nice that it's there now, but I have report. So I'm going to get down here to report and it's going to ask me these questions right here. What do you want to report or who do you want to report? I would select the person or the people. For right now, I don't want to report Mary Davis because this is my play account. Um, and then you put why you're reporting them. These are check boxes, so you can do multiple checks. You can put in other information. You could upload a file. Maybe I did a screenshot of something inappropriate that that person did. Uh, you can also do desktop screenshots, which is pretty cool. They have this here. And then you click on send. I'm going to hit cancel though. So I just want to show you how to report somebody in your Zoom meeting and also make sure you're updated to Zoom 5.0 by tomorrow, May 30th. Have a great day. I wanted to keep this short. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I have probably 20 Zoom videos available. Also on my Zoom Resource Center page, which I'll have a link to below, are the 25 free video virtual backgrounds we created, plus all the keyboard shortcuts that I love. Thank you.